hello everyone here we have a method which is called as virtual work method which is also called as unit load method and we have to determine displacement of the structure by unit load method and this is one of the energy method we we have two types of method one is known as geometric method and one is known as energy method and this virtual work method comes under energy method so we know from the physics that energy is transferred from one form to another form so by this concept we know that external work done is equals to internal work done is that okay so this is the concept from the physics and what we have to find by using this method we have to find displacement displacement of the structure okay so displacement again it is character characterized into two part displacement it it may be deflection deflection of the structure and it may be rotation or slope slope of the structure okay so first we will understand understand <coughs> Uh, what is the formula? How we can understand the formula? To understand the formula, I will take a simple, simply supported beam, a simple example, a simply supported beam, and this is subjected to UDL over entire span W kilonewton per meter. Okay, so this point is A, B. And this point is C. Now, what I will do? I will draw a curvature diagram. Uh, this will deflect like this. This is the deflected shape of the beam, or it is also called as elastic curve. Okay, and I will draw the curvature diagram. Curvature diagram will be like this. It is subjected to UDL. <clears throat> so I will take this as M by EI moment diagram divided by EI will give you a curvature diagram and curvature is denoted by phi curvature okay so what what I will do here I want to find deflection at C by unit load method okay so for that I have to apply unit load at C and this delta I have to find ok so you have to find uh, deflection at C for that you have to apply unit load and this unit load is imaginary load or you can co also call it as virtual, virtual load okay so it is imaginary we don't have unit load there we are just applying it you can also call it as dummy load okay so here <coughs> we are applying unit load and we can write down now now we can write down external work done you know what what is work done work done is nothing but uh, it is the product of force in force and displacement so now we have to talk about external work done external work done means force 1 kilo newton 1 kilo newton into displacement delta and from physics uh, we know that from the law of conservation of energy external work done external work done is equals to internal work done okay so external work done we know 1 into delta and internal work done means internal force into internal displacement external force into external displacement 
external force into external displacement equals to internal force into internal displacement so internal force developed here is 1 into delta equals to i will write internal force developed as m1 into internal displacement internal displacement i will take it as the curvature curvature is also a displacement and that will be internal displacement and this internal force is m1 m1 is moment developed in the structure because of unit load okay so i will draw the here m1 because of unit load you will have bending moment like this and this is uh, i will call this as m1 is that okay now see uh, external force external force is virtual this is virtual imaginary since external force is virtual internal force will also be virtual okay and see this delta is real this delta is real because of udl you are getting this delta okay since this external displacement is real internal displacement will also be real once again i will tell you external force is virtual and internal force will also be virtual m1 is developed by unit load and external displacement is real internal displacement will also be real now we can uh, we, we can get the formula uh, delta equals to m1 m1 into phi what is phi m by er m by er i will write the formula here delta equals to m1 into m by er m1 is moment <coughs> developed because of unit load this is virtual and this m is the real moment we have converted this into curvature dividing it by er since moment is not constant between a and b it is not constant it is varying between a and b so for that to take that into consideration we have to integrate delta equals to integration of m1 into m by er limit integration between a and b a b so this formula we have to understand and by this formula we can find a displacement of the structure it may be deflection or it may be rotation so we will switch over to the problem here we have a problem in this problem we have to find displacement uh, they have given horizontal deflection horizontal deflection at d and slope at a and these two things we have to find by unit load method so what we have to do here uh, we have to draw two system i will call this as system 1 system 1 and one more system we have to draw first we will calculate horizontal deflection at a De uh, sorry horizontal deflection at d delta d h horizontal deflection uh, at d horizontal okay so for this i have to draw one more system sorry one more system same structure but i don't have to show any load except the unit load at a point where deflection is uh, asked at point d i have to apply unit load so this is your system 2 system 2 okay so uh, first i have to calculate reaction at system 1 and then reaction at system 2 
हियर यू हैव टू रिएक्शन दिस इज एच ए एंड वी ए विल बी डाउनवर्ड वी ए एंड हियर यू विल गेट वी डी आई विल ड्रॉ हियर वी डी यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट रिएक्शन आई विल नॉट एक्सप्लेन दिस दिस विल बी हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन वी ए इट विल बी डाउनवर्ड फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन एंड वी डी इट इज अपवर्ड सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन ओके एंड हियर ऑल्सो इन सिस्टम टू ऑल्सो वी हैव टू फाइंड रिएक्शन दिस आई विल कॉल इट एज एच ए डैश विच विल बी इक्वल टू वन किलो न्यूटन डायरेक्शन विल बी टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट एंड वी ए वी ए वी ए डैश एंड वी डी डैश विल बी जीरो सो वी हैव गॉट रिएक्शन इन सिस्टम वन एंड रिएक्शन इन सिस्टम टू नाउ वी कैन प्रोसीड वी हैव दिस टेबल दिस टेबल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इट इज लाइक दिस मेम्बर ओरिजिन ई आई फ्लेक्जरल रिजिडिटी लिमिट्स एम एम वन सो दिस एम इज मोमेंट इन सिस्टम वन मोमेंट डेवलप बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सटर्नल लोडिंग यू कैन से मोमेंट डेवलप बिकॉज ऑफ रियल लोडिंग एंड दिस एम वन इज मोमेंट इन सिस्टम टू मोमेंट डेवलप इन सिस्टम टू बिकॉज ऑफ यूनिट लोड एट एट पॉइंट डी सो वी हैव मेम्बर फर्स्ट मेम्बर इज ए बी आई विल राइट इट डाउन हियर ए बी देन यू हैव मेम्बर बी ई सो वेन एवर यू हैव अ पॉइंट लोड यू हैव टू टेक दैट एज अ मेम्बर सो आई विल टेक इट एज मेम्बर बी ई देन यू हैव मेम्बर ई सी आफ्टर दैट सी डी ओके now uh, what you have to do you have to define the origin so uh, what i will do here i will just take uh, uh, this will be okay um, okay i will take a section in member ab this is my section in member ab and i will take a as a origin a as a origin means x distance will be from a okay so i will define the origin a as a origin and what is ei they have given only one i and e is constant so i will write here ei and limit is we, we are talking about member ab x distance at a is 0 and x distance at b is uh, this is 5 meter okay so 0 to 5 the limit will be 0 to 5 0 to 5 so i have taken a section at at this section what is moment developed we have to calculate we have to determine uh, i will go from a to to the section means from left to right in this in this way clockwise moment will be positive and anti clockwise moment will be negative so i have to write this uh, intensity of udl 20 kN per meter is that okay and this distance is x from a to the section uh, 100 into x 100 into x and it is creating clockwise moment it will be positive so i will write m 100 into x and this va will not create any moment because perpendicular distance is zero okay now you have udl between a and the section and total load of udl will be acting at the center of this distance total load is uh, i will write here 20 into x intensity of udl into distance and acting at the center of this distance so i will this distance will be x by 2 and it will create anti clockwise moment i will just dog this this will create anti clockwise moment so total load is 20 into x and perpendicular distance with respect to section is x by 2 and it will create 
anti clockwise moment and we have to take minus minus 20x total load into perpendicular distance x by 2 okay now we have a next member uh, next member is b e so we have to take section in b e and i will take origin as b x distance will be from b and b is zero uh, at b x is zero and at e x is one okay so uh, limit will be i will i have taken b as a origin e i what about uh, you have e is constant and i is 2i moment of inertia is 2i so it will be you you write here 2 ei and limit will be 0 to 1 okay so what is moment developed here what is moment developed here You have to go from A to the section. Okay. You have to take this complete uh, this side completely. Uh, 100 into 5. Perpendicular distance is 100 into 5. Then you have VA. VA into uh, perpendicular distance is X. Okay. Uh, VA will create anticlockwise moment minus VA. VA is 47.5 into X. Okay, so uh, after that you have UDL. Uh, the length of the UDL is 5 meter. Total load will be acting at the center of this 5 meter. Total load will be 20 into 5 and perpendicular distance will be uh, 2.5 and this will create anticlockwise moment with respect to this point minus 20 into 5 into 2.5 okay so so next member you have ec uh, you have your choice you can take e as a origin or C as origin you have your choice so here I will take C as origin and if I am taking C as origin distance X will be from C okay and uh, the limit will be C at C X distance is 0 and at E X distance is 3 so limit will be uh, 0 to 3 and I is uh, moment of inertia is 2 I so uh, origin is C uh, moment of inertia uh, flexural rigidity is 2i limit is 0 to 3 and what will be m since, since I have taken C as origin so I have to go from D to the section and from D to the section you only have one uh, reaction you don't have any load other than this reaction so what is moment created at this section vd into x this is vd vd and perpendicular distance uh, with respect to this section is x and this will create anti clockwise moment and from d to uh, section is right to left and when we are going from right to left anti clockwise moment will be positive so vd will create anti clockwise moment and the VD is 67.5 67.5 into X you don't have any other load than this so next uh, section is uh, CD ok so I will take D as origin because it will be very easy if I take C as origin so I have to uh, come from A uh, B C to the section if I take D as origin I have to go from D to the section ok from D to the section uh, only one force is there one reaction is there and the perpendicular distance with respect to this section is 0 
so no moment is created at this particular section first you write uh, this thing cd member cd d as a origin uh, ei limit will be uh, 0 to 5 0 to 5 and moment is 0 okay 